Welcome back to the Permadeath Center of the Galaxy run with Juan Paul. Well, thank you all for joining me today. We're going to go ahead and pick up where we left off before as we see the wonderful sunrise on this beautiful planet that we're on here. Let's get a nice view over here. I think it's time for another picture. What do you think? Gazing into the... Maybe that way. Nah. Let's just go ahead and get a nice picture. Nice pullback picture of the sunrise. Lower level. There we go. It's the purple flowers of this beautiful planet here. I like that. That's a very nice picture. Okay, moving on. So we're going to pick up where we left off in our last episode, and that is to find us some Gravitino Balls. Yay. So let's look at that for a second. Let's just jump out of the ship for a moment here. So to build this plan, make this plan, make this plan, we need silver, magnetized ferrite, and chromatic metal. We do not need a Gravitino Ball. Fascinating. I just need silver. Silver I do not have. And I'm not sure if any of the systems... I think one of the planets in this system carries silver. I don't think I know. It's not this one. It's one of the other three, if I remember correctly. We can get it from asteroids and stuff like that. And we sometimes can find them on... In caves. I can tell you I've gone through the caves around me and I didn't find any. On one thing that had gold and the rest had platinum. Um... The aggressive planet, was that it? Nope, that had gold. Okay, so uh, we've been there. We have been there, that was the cold planet. No, that wasn't the cold planet. Well, anyway, doesn't make a difference. That was the fungal, that's an also a fungal mold planet? Interesting. Copper, ammonia, salt. We've been to this one. Uh, let's see, we've check that one out I think we did that's the aggressive one so let's go to the other planet on the other side of this real quick here hold on where is it it is over this way there we go I think I can see it there it is nope so no silver here no silver for you. All right, let me check the space station. I don't remember if the space station carried or not. Actually, can we check that? No, I don't think we can check the space station to see what it's gone. Pretty sure I can't check it, so. Unless I'm at a portal. But the space station's pretty close here, so we'll just check it out here real quick. Maybe we'll find someone that has it. That would be even better. Otherwise, we're going to have to find a system. Whoop, wrong way. Find a system that has a planet that has silver on it. Asteroids might be the way to go. I can always hit the asteroid field on the way back, and we can gather it that way. Gravitino Ball 1, I think, is one of the last plants we have to make. But we'll see. Pretty sure it is not at any of the trade terminals. I'll double check just to be certain. Yep, nothing there. We can get silver other ways with certain metals and stuff like that. We can put them into a into our refiner and combine them to make other things. I can always look it up. There it is. Nope. Got the chromatic metal, which, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take it because we're running a little low. 700 is not low, I know, but still, it's we we went through about five or 600 of it. And I'm not seeing any ships coming in, which is unusual. And just so you know, see? I had gone under, under a thousand, so. Let me put you over there for now. Oh, wait, we got a ship coming in. 
Let's check them out. I like the way this thing lands on the tracks like that. It almost looks like one of those uh, things from Stargate. Hmm. Fighter 2. A-Class, 13 mil. Not bad. TIE Fighter wings on it. Ooh, it's got a gold cast to it with white. It's kind of pretty. I like the markings on it, too. Let's see what you got under your inventory, my friend. Uh, phosphorus and platinum on this guy. Yep, that's it. Got another one just like it. C-Class. And we have that guy, the shuttle. Oh, hello. I just literally almost landed on my head. Dude, you've got to watch where you fly. Alright, what do you got? You probably got the same thing. Yep. Check you out real quick. Uh, copper, Pugnium, Paraffinium, Lemium. Lemium? Was it Lemium? I don't know. Maybe it was Lemium. Alright. Let's go find ourselves an Astro Field. We need 120. I'm going to see if maybe hitting some asteroids will help me do this. Looks like we got an Astro Field right in front of us. It's over already. Yeah, this thing really just kind of harvests the crap out of the entire field. Who needs, uh... Uh, who needs, uh, missiles, right? How much, uh, do we have already? 32. Okay. Now, the thing is, is that we have to harvest the Gravitino Ball, too. So it's actually not a bad idea we do hit that aggressive Sentinel planet. See, now that happens. The asteroid field will disappear when you got these ships popping in like that. It'll clear out the asteroid field and reform it elsewhere. Usually somewhere nearby. <laughs> Seriously? How come the hostile skins always appear whenever these guys show up? Yeah, I know. Okay, here we go. Gone. You see, I switched my power over to weapons. It takes it away from shields a little bit, but it'll take these guys out a lot quicker. They're attacking me near a space station, too. That's the stupid part. Nice, got some nanites out of that. Alright, how are we doing on this? Got a hundred and almost 120. Hundred and thirty, okay. Having a little extra just to play it safe. All right, there we go. Hey, when that happens. Okay, so where's our planet that has the aggressive sentinels on it? That's them, huh? Yeah, okay, we've got to get past the space station before we can go. There we go. On our way. Let's see what we got in here. 400 of that. Nice. Good amounts. Okay. Yeah. Got a lot to sell. So we're going to land here. We're going to get a Gravitino Ball anyway because we have to turn it in. I don't know if we need more than one, so I'll grab a few. But, you know, we're going to tick off some Sentinels on the way. It is what it is. It's a capped planet, too. Atmosphere, here we go. Come 
come in a little bit low and take a look around. Very interested to see if there's any Grappuccino balls here. Because even though they're aggressive sentinels... Oh, we got him. And if you're gonna grab one... Yeah. Amazing how powerful these lasers are, aren't they? What in the world? Seriously, that's the closest one? It is so far up in the sky, it's never gonna find me? Unbelievable. Well, there's a glitch for you, huh? Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. So, while we're here, let's go ahead and scan the anomalous creatures, and we're done. There we go. <laughs> we escaped them just in time. Okay, back to our... Back to our base so that should do it so we'll have this plant planted here in the next couple of minutes and then we'll go ahead and turn in a gravitino ball now that we have a couple on us actually we're going to put all this in our inventory because we're going to be turning some of it in okay good there we go how many gravitino balls do we get four good that should be good too So, fortuitous system that we ended up in. I want to thank the Atlas for depositing us, depositing us there. Here. Very handy of it. To do so. Let's see, that is mine. On the right. There we go. And there we are. Okay, so let's plant it first before we get rid of anything. Uh, let's see, Gravitino. We have everything we need. Now this I'll probably keep. Okay, let's go see the farmer. I know that sound anywhere. You carry Gravitino balls, do you not? We hand in one. Ah, it is like greeting an old friend. Let me see them. Truly wondrous work, Traveler. And we've got a new plant that's made out of cactus flesh. We have seen so much life in frost and heat, nuclear winter, and toxic wastelands. You should know by now that no world is truly barren, friend, even if there seem to be few signs of life. Take the echinocactus, for example. They are found on otherwise barren worlds waiting for their moment to thrive. Just think of what they will become in this superior environment. He wishes me to cultivate echinocactus, a plant that usually grows on barren worlds, except I look forward to the results, friend. Okay. Let's go to our... What is this thing called? Cargo container. Because I got a funny feeling we're going to need a second one. So let's go ahead and make one real quick. There we go. All right. Storage container. How are we doing on gold? Gold isn't there, isn't it not? Quick transfer. Good. Platinum. We didn't have that in there. Silver. We had that in there. Not much, though, right? Tell me we didn't have much. We had 613 silver in there. Oh, I feel like such a, like such a bozo. Ah, go figure. All right, we're going to put the Gravitino balls in there. And that fills out that container. We don't need to deposit anything else. We're going to be selling all this. Because we don't need any tritium, right? We, well, we got a good amount of tritium in there. We go ahead and put that in. There we go. Got a thousand tritium now, so we're good. All right. So we need, oh, we need cactus. Nope. Let's go to this one one more time because I just wanted to check to make sure we didn't have it in here. I thought we did. 
going across, going across, going across. Nope, we don't have any cactus in here. So we'll have to find some on a barren world. Okay. All right. Let's move on. So we got to find that. I don't know if we have any in our system. So that planet we haven't been to, correct? That's the aggressive one, right? We've been there. We've been there, right? That's the uh, uranium one. Yep. Okay, we've been to the one beyond it. Uh, we haven't been there, but that's the same as this one. Okay, and that should pretty much do it. So we need to find a system that has cactus. Uh, let's see. We've been to that system. Data unavailable. Okay, that's not going to work for us. Ore processing by Keen to... Three star mining. Yeah, this looks like it's pretty good. It's got about five or six planets plus a moon. So let's see if we can find a barren one. And there we are. Let's take a look. What do we got here? That is Gamma Root. Looks like it has a moon. Am I right? Ooh, yeah it does. Just got it. Star bulb activated copper. How about you? Scalding. Okay, oop, little guy over there. Let's check you out. What do you got? Cactus. That's where we wanted to go. Barren planet. I'm just curious as to what this one is. Looks cold. Nope, just aggressive center. It's viridescent planet. Is there any of the planets here? There was. Ooh, ringed one. Star bowl. Verdant. Verdant planet. That wasn't a moon, was it? No, I think that's just a rock in space. Okay, so that's the planet we want to go to. And it's really far out there, so we're probably going to have to recharge our pulse drive as we get closer. It'd be great if I can get some more upgrades for the pulse drive, but I'd have to upgrade the ship a little bit more too. Just not a lot of room in here to put stuff, because I wanted my uh, interstellar drive to be in a spot. Although I could move these guys. There's four of them. I just don't know where. I don't really have any room over here. Yeah. I have to think about it. That's our pulse drive too, isn't it? Go ahead and drop it in. It's already dropping in charge. Everybody else looks like it's okay. Anything on my exosuit need, need charging? Do it while we're here. Nope. I think we got everything charged up. Look at that. Hmm. Multi-tool. By the way, I did a little editing on my multi-tools. I'll show you that in a minute. Oh, uh, we don't want to land in the middle of the water. Let's go over that way. All right, there we go. Okay, we're not mountainous. That's good. Pretty decent sized hills. Alright, we're looking for a very obvious type of plant. Oh, like those. Those are them. I don't know what was going on there. Alright, let's see. What did it say? Largest planet, huh? Interesting. Are these aggressive sentinels here? Frequent. No, nope, not aggressive. Okay, good. And what do they got here? Activated copper, which we don't need. Pyrite, cobalt. Alright, we're good. 
So let's just go ahead and get our cactus. You know cactus. We need quite a bit of it, of course. these they just float in the middle of the air awesome yeah that should do it that gave us quite a bit too yeah almost 500 of it excellent I'm very happy with that okay and anything of note here looks like all the creatures are halfway decent creatures enjoys the hunt which we know he'll just try to attack me See, I'm scanning them because even though I don't get all of them for the planet, what I do get is... Well, that's a big dude. Good gravy. Take another look at him. Wow, 6.8 meters. Jeez. But what you do get is you will get uh, for discoveries like through um, at the anomaly. You can, at Ares and stuff like that, you can get, you can turn them in and get a lot of nanites for them, so it's a good idea to give it a shot. Um, that's a space station. I don't see, oh, because we're not in the right place. Okay, off we go. Where is my, I don't know where that's going. Oh, there we go. back to our home system. Okay, so once we get there, we land, we plant this plant. Again, we're only a little over 20 minutes in, so this will be yet another plant. I think the last plant I want to say is Nip Nip Buds, or maybe that's given to me as a reward, I don't remember. We'll find out, I guess. It's been so long. There we go. Where is my base? There you are. One of these days we'll get ourselves a freighter too. Forget freighter. Freighter. All right. And gotta get past. There, and land there. There we go. Love the wings on these sh ships. Okay, let's go ahead and plant it. Right here. Oh, we need the pyrite. Where's our pyrite? It's in a different ship. I don't think I have it in my inventory out here. Let me just check. Mm, starts with a P. Nope, don't see it. So, we will pull in our other ship. Not you. You. Uh, let's see. No, you don't have it either, huh? Maybe it was... You. Okay, what do you got? Pyrite, there we go. Alright, we got it. Let's go make our plant. And we want to make sure we don't make a mistake here. There we go, primary starship switched. And you notice that there's a sentinel that popped up. It's because of the Gravitino plant. It attracts them. Okay. Ah, uh, the Aquino cactus must have bloomed by now. Is it ready, friend? Can I see it? And in 100 cactus flesh. 100 this time, not 25. 
I only have two plants left to show you. Okay, good. Your training is almost complete, friend. I am so proud. So we got the star brambles next. Star bulb and paraffinium. I want to share something with you. Something beautiful beyond compare. Star bulbs are grown from the rarest star brambles found on lush worlds. Unspoiled by death or... Pardon me. By war or death. This is why I wanted to become a farmer. To tend such sublimity. Workgek Oa wishes me to use the hydroponics tray to grow star brambles. Except... Excellent. Excellent. I must go and speak to the overseer. Apparently they are unhappy with my performance. Perhaps this crop will change their mind. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of... The fungal cluster. Alright. And we're going to get rid of... That guy. The cactus flesh dude. Alright. So that'll give our last two plants... Okay, um, let's put them over here. So there's our fungal mold. There's our cactus. Actually, fungal mold can go in the other one. And we'll put some pyrite over here. Okay. Fungal mold. Go with the rest of the fungal mold. Oh, there's no fungal mold in here. That's weird. Oh, because I accidentally deleted it, remember? Yes. Okay. In there. It goes. All right, so we're all done there. I'll go ahead and, since we have the inventory, I'll go ahead and keep the Gek Relics for now, too, since we're not going to get rid of them. All right, so we've got to get... Star Bramble and Paraffinium. So let's get our... How much Paraffinium did it require? 25. That should be in here. There you are. Twenty six, look at that. Twenty five it is. Good. And star brambles, I believe, are found on this world, are they not? They are. Star bramble four hundred units away. What about up there? What's that? Peptoloid wheat. I don't think we're gonna find it any closer than that, I'll be honest. Yeah. Impulse beans. Impulse beans. Okay. Star bramble. And this is a pretty enough planet. Let's go ahead and just take a, a jaunt with our backpack, jetpack, if you will. Hey, buddy. Interesting. Like the tusks. There's literally one star bramble here. Just the one. And it gave us... 10. Okay, that's disappointing. Impulse beans. Heptaloid wheat. Yeah, that's, uh, that was crappy. <laughs> to say the least. So we will pull the ship in. Off we go. Alright, so we're going to head due south past our base from this plant because this is the ley line. And we should find some more star brambles and rather quickly. They should be pretty prevalent on this planet. That looks like some right there. And over there too. Uh, let's just go with this one. That's fine. Okay. Better. Oh, missed one back there. All right. How many is that? We have 102. To make the plant, I can't tell you. All right. Probably want to hit the other one. I think I want to get a couple hundred of this. And that was over there. I believe is the closest one. And what do we have here? Uranium gold. Isn't that special? 
I was wondering whether this planet carried that earlier when I was trying to make some stuff. I needed some gold, and I was wondering whether this planet had anything like metal fingers on it. All right. So we've kind of Tom and Jerry. This is really a beautiful planet, isn't it? Good grief. I'll go ahead and take this. There we go. They don't like us doing that. Every now and then it drops an upgrade chart and I go ahead and use that or some kind of multi-tool upgrade or something along those lines. Uh, did we get that one? No, we didn't. Alright, this should be enough, I think. Is that everybody? Yeah, it is. Almost 200. I think we're good. Personally. Well, this is a very pretty planet. I like the bluish sky as well. It's very nice. A nice uh, flora along the way. Very, very nice place. Variety of plants. Look at that rainbow. Very, very nice. Wow. Okay, off we go. Back to our base. And we're just about 30 minutes in. Where'd our base go? This way, right? North? There you go. And... We have this plant and one more plant to go, I believe, and that's it. A collection of ships around me, isn't that funny? There we go. And we're back. Okay. So we need to plant... Um, hello? There we go. Hi, plants. Star Bramble. Put Star Bramble over here. There we go. Return to the farmer. The star brambles have bloomed. Yes, pass them over for examination. They only want 25, so that's good. Then only one task remains. Mordite root is last. Oh, and guess what? I think we have Mordite. I cannot pretend to be a farmer anymore. The overseer has made it clear. I must be as the others of my species are. I must trade, sell, accumulate. But I will make a final meal before I leave, Traveler. The Overseer requested it. A dish made from Mordite root. The death element. Go. Grow this final crop. Oh, he requested it, did he? Work at Goa. Wishes for me to use the hydroponics tray to grow Mordite roots. Accept. The Overseer asked for one last meal with me before I go. I must ready myself. Good luck, friend. Yeah, I don't think he did that. Alright, so what do we need? We need 40 Mordite. That's all we need. So guess what? I think we've got it. If I'm not mistaken. We have 140. I'll put the star bramble in there in its place. Excellent. Let's go make our Mordite. And if you ask for 100, we should be all set, right? Okay. There he is. Return to the farmer. You grew it, didn't you? The Mordite root is done. Hand in 25 Mordite is only needed. Let me see it. You have mastered so much of the botanical art, my friend. To see that others understand its virtues, well, it gives me hope. It is a pity you can digest so little of our own produce. But creating life is its own reward, is it not? The farmer has no more tasks for me. They tell me that their contract is at an end and that they will be returning to Gek territory. As they discuss their leaving plans, they watch the ceiling carefully. It is unclear what they are looking at. Suddenly, work Gek Oa grabs me, telling me not to trust the overseer, that their fellow Gek may not even be a Gek at all. They seem to suggest that their food was somehow drugged. But this can't be true. I've shared meals with the overseer, and I'm fine. They would never do anything to harm any of us. The overseer only wants what is best. A moment later, the farmer stops speaking. They assure me they were just choking and begged me not to speak of this matter again. Thank them. I, wor I thank Work Gek Oa and leave. They have been a loyal friend. 
So, that completes... That still has an emblem over his head. Let's go to our log. It says, return to the farmer. Do I talk to him again? I am not feeling myself, Traveler. I do not think I should go. Not just yet. Yes, that's right. I will stay. The farmer appears, appears to be refusing to leave, despite a lack of continued payment or directives from the overseer. They spend their days tending my crops, no longer proposing any tasks. They claim they have nothing else, nowhere else to go. Smile at them. Where Gecko smiles back, happy to be here among their plants. Now we're done. And hopefully we'll get that little chime, No. It's just gone from our secondary missions. Okay. So expanding the base is next. Let's go ahead and check on that and just make sure there's nothing else for us to do. Merchant Agastunin. Once you have secured our farmer, you will want to trade unhindered to profit from our glorious harvest without being dragged to and fro. Never fear, friend, or I shall make it so. All I require are a few circuit boards to finish the plans for a trade terminal of our own. He requests circuit boards in order to create a galactic trade terminal blueprint. This Corvax scientist should be able to provide the necessary parts. Except, I have, do not have the zeal for trade that seems to seize the GEC. Nonetheless, it would be convenient for me to tap into the galactic market from right here at my home. So I need two circuit boards, it sounds like. Let me check. Uh, learn how to build circuit boards. So I'm supposed to go to the scientist, but I've already got that. Acquire a circuit board, it says. Can I build it? Just start at the bottom, work my way up. Polyfiber. Nope, I do not have it in here to build. Oh wait, there it is. That's strange. I need heat capacitor and polyfiber. Great. That's why those popped into my inventory like that. Heat capacitor requires force crystals and selenium. Isn't that surprising? And the polyfiber requires cactus flesh and star bulb. 200. So I need two circuit boards. I need 400 star bulbs. Oy. Oy vey, to say the least, right? Okay. What other inventories? Oh, we just require... I just, I just saw it. It just requires a circuit board. One. Okay. All right. So I only need 200. I, can, I think I can handle that. I think I can handle that. So let me go into my inventory here. First things first, we're going to put the Mordite back, or do we know we're not going to put it back in here? That's for sure. So let's get the star bulb. Uh, I already don't remember. Hold on. That's not it. Nope. I'll figure this out. Don't worry. I've got this. Sir Polyfiber. Okay, so this requires 100 frost crystals, 200 selenium. I need 100 cactus flesh. Selenium. 200 selenium. I need 150 more of that. Looking. We're looking. I regret now having gotten rid of anything. The Mordite in here. Cactus flesh. Got plenty of it. Okay, 80 more star bulbs, 81 to be exact. I need 150 selenium. Oh, the frost crystals. I need 100 of those. That should be in here. There they are. There we go. Okay, so we need 150 of those, and I need 81 of those. And how many cactus flesh? I think we only needed 100. There we go. Alright. Yep, that's where I wanted to be. Alright, so in order to make those... There we go. 150 selenium, 81 star bulb. Okay, so we're all set. 
I need to find some star bulb. We'll do that first. We need a hot planet for the selenium. Yeah, we'll go a little bit further this time than we did last time, and we should be able to drop in low and find some star bulbs. Easier to find at night because they glow. Oh, there's some right there. Not. Oh, there's two patches, so we're good. Another patch to my left. Okay, we need 40 more. 30 more. Not quite there. We got eight more to go and we're short one plant. Imagine. Okay, should be another set of plants right there. Almost. And of course we want to grab some extras. And while we're here, we'll just get the whole crop. Just to play it safe. And there we go. Good deal. We're all done here. That? That what I think it is. Oh, it's cobalt. All right, so that part is done, right? Yep, 269 is what we ended up with. So we need 150 selenium. We need to go to a hot planet to get that. And I don't think there's any in this system here. So actually, I think what we're going to do, I'm going to do something a little bit different here. Back down. Where is my base? There you are. We're going to use our portal, and we're going to try to find a system through the portal that has a hot planet on it. Oop. It was reevaluating while I was selecting it. That landing pad. That was weird, so that's why I almost flew into a mountain. Okay, here we go. Get through that door. Alright, so, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the space stations that we can go to. And when you select one, you can check out what planet... Oh, you can't check out the planets, can you? Let's just warp there and we'll check it out. See what we end up with. Hopefully in about 15 minutes we'll be done with this episode. <clears throat> and I don't know if we're complete all of it for the Overseer or not, but we're really, really close. Okay, let's take a look. Alright, the only planet we know here was this Sub-Zero planet. So this is the system we went to, but it has some unknown planets here, and I think, if I remember correctly, one of them was really hot. Now, occasionally you can buy a circuit board from somewhere. It doesn't happen often. Molten planet. What do you think? But it doesn't mention any plants. So we gotta be careful of that. What about this one? This was the Paradise one, I think, right? Yeah, Star Bolt. What else we got? There's a planet just beyond it. I think that's probably not a hot planet. Desolate. 
Dissonance detected. Fungal mold. And we're back to this planet here. And there's one on the other side of it. Let's go ahead and go to the other side. We can try landing on this planet, but I don't think it has any plants on it. That's the thing. So I don't think we'll find selenium on it, because they will tell you what it, whether there's a plant on it or not. Yeah, that doesn't look very promising. That's the Sub-Zero planet. There's a planet beyond this one. Let's just get a little bit beyond it. So we can see it. Ooh, that doesn't really look promising, actually. A bountiful planet. Go figure. Alright. I think what we're going to do, we're going to just jump to a system and see if we can't find something with a hot base at it. Uh, let's see. That looks good. I don't think we've been to this one yet. It's a Viking system. It has a several planets. One of them had a moon. The more planets, the more possibility of us finding a uh, hot planet at it. See, this is why you grab those plants when you find them. So you don't end up stuck in, on, a, on a mission like this. Oh, hmm, look at that. What do you think? I think we should. There's usually some bad guys behind me. Whoop. Where'd he go? No, not you. You'll, you'll do. No. Where'd he go? Gotta watch my shields here. Ah. Had him lined up. Let's go this way. Why am I not hitting him? Oh, he's within the shield. That was weird. Oh, crap. I don't know what just happened. I think I ran into somebody. Let's get a little further out. That would have been a really awful end. Hey, how come I didn't see that guy until the last second? There we go. So we got our ship damaged here. I don't know what we're running into, but we're running into something. Oh. Where'd they go? No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, you don't. There's someone right here next to me, and you're taking me into battle in the middle of nothing. So, what will this do for us?
Why am I not getting this guy? I can't shoot him for some reason. Too close. Let's get away from this for just a second. A little too close. And they're right in front of the frigate, which means if I shoot, I'm going to hit the frigate. And who's shooting at me? I got somebody right behind me. I think. There he is, right over there. We'll, we'll use him for target practice right now. Got him. Okay, where's the next guy? Gone. Don't fly in front of the freighter. That should do it. Yikes. Okay, so we might be able to get ourselves a freighter now. Am I on the other side? Oh, there we go. Down below. Or above, as the case may be. I think I'm upside down. There we go. Not bad. I mean, we damaged our ship, so we ought to check it out. What got broke? That got broke. Okay, we need silver to fix it. Alright. Well, we'll look into that. Hey, we got nip-nip buds. How oh, interesting. And a suspicious scanning module, which we can put in our unit over here, which gives us nothing worth even mentioning. And this is for Bullcaster, huh? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Why not? What does it give us? And plus one damage. And just some reload time and burst cooldown and clip size, so... No. Not worth it. And is it putting everything in my inventory over here? Yes, of course it is. Okay, no problem. Alright, let's see if this ship is worth our time. First of all, we can take a look. It is a C-Class, so it's really not going to be worth our time, but we will be rewarded. So let's speak to the captain. Blah, 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 blah. That was a tough... Let's go payment instead. Because I'd really rather get something a little bit better than that. Got a bunch of nanites. Got a bunch of gold. And that should do it. I can't talk to this guy. Because I'm in the middle of something coming up on my screen. There we go. I just want to see if he happens to have silver. Yes, he does. How convenient. Okay, we're good. Got a little glitchy there. I'm going to go ahead and jump in and out of my ship for a save point real fast so I don't lose anything. Hmm. No restore point. How interesting. Alright, well, let's see what kind of... Yo! Almost hit it. Alright. Planet, what have you? Muller... Meadow... Metallurgic planet. What about you? Poisonous. And you? Scalding. Selenium. That's where we're headed. Okay, good. On our way. And while we're waiting, let's fix it. Got it. And I don't think anything else is damaged, so we should be up to snuff. This is... It says medicinal, but it is also contraband. Really? My suit inventory is full. You're right, it sure is. There we go. Put that over there, put that over there. Okay, so we cleared out a bunch of stuff out of my inventory. It's not worth mentioning what I cleared out. Just switched inventories to make my exosuit a little bit more open. Alright, so we're coming in for a landing. Get our selenium. 
And uh, that lasted a little bit longer than I expected, so this is probably going to be the end of our episode here. We will get back to our base, do what we can, and then call it a day. Hmm. Very nice. Okay, so we're looking for selenium. Uh-oh. Just land. Because they catch the nip-nip buds on board and they'll be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look around while we're here. Uh, let's see. Fireberry. Fireberry. Yeah, let's go the other direction here. There's literally nothing in range that looks like any other plants. Maybe it lied. So if you've got something on board and you're on a planet, and you know that you're going to get in trouble for having it on board with the authorities, go ahead and land as quickly as possible, and it cancels their probe. If you're in space, you're kind of screwed. Selenium has a glow to it, unlike these little uh, mushroom-shaped units that we see all over the place. Ah, there are some on the slopes right up there. Okay, good deal. This should be it. Then we'll head to the space station after this, and... Or we can just hyperspace back to our place, that'll be fine. Go. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, we got one more. All right, so how much did we end up with? 255. We are right as rain. You know what? Why don't we just make them while we're here? So we need... There we go, one heat capacitor, and one polyfiber, which should give us a circuit board. We now have a circuit board in our inventory, and it is time for us to give it to the Overseer. Excellent. Boing. Back to hyperspace. Let's warp over there. There we go. Okay, so we'll come in for a landing, turn in our circuit board, and hopefully that should complete... I don't know if it's going to complete all the base quests, but I think we're really, really close. So like I said in my last episode, we probably have like two more episodes to go. I thought it was really a lot more involved with the agricultural uh, farmer ones, that is, and it didn't turn out to be so, so we're able to get a lot more done uh, with this one. So we might be able to complete out all of our quests within the next episode. So, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. Turn to the Overseer. We are trying to. Okay. There we go. Here's our base. Slow it down. Oops, see? Did it again. Just as I selected, it switched to the other landing pad. Fortunately, I was able to catch it in time. Okay. Overseer, here is your circuit board. I trust our scientist was able to meet your needs, friend. They have the circuits we demand. As I approach the Overseer, I'm almost certain I heard them talking to themselves, spitting out words and phrases in a tongue I recognize but do not understand. But seconds later, there's no trace of the venom I thought I heard. I must be mistaken. Merchant... Agastunin asked me for the circuit boards. Give the circuits. The Overseer is strange, but no more so than any of the other beings I have encountered. Indeed, they have been more helpful than most. I hand over the circuits and receive my reward. Galactic Trade Terminal requires 25 magneti magnetized ferrite and three microprocessors. Ah, friend, you will be so happy with Merchant Agastunin. I have drawn up plans for some starship technology, but I cannot yet sync my design with, the, with your ship. I shall need a Gravitino ball to perfect my device. The Overseer predicted I would be pleased. Once again, they are correct. They have been ceaseless in their efforts to improve my lot. 
Gravitino Ball is required to finish their promised starship technology. The farmer may be able to help acquire one. Except, You will not regret it, friend. It is good we, will, we work so well together. So now we could build the uh, terminal, but we're not going to. Um, that would require a different type of building, which I do not have. I could build it, but you know what? Not really in the mood to do that. So we're not going to do it. Too bad. All right, let's put the selenium in here. Star bulb is not going to go in there. Let's go in here. And... A couple things I want to do. Let's go to the starship real quick and pull out... Pugnium, gold, nip-nip muds, the Corvax casing, the cargo bulkhead, the Viking effigy, and the silver. There we go. Go back over here. To our storage container, we will... Put them away. Okay, inventory's full for that. Gold we can put in there, and that's a full thousand on gold. That's not bad. We'll keep the rest of the gold on us. I'll put this in our ship inventory. And where's the gravitino balls? There they are. We just need one. Okay. Let's put this away. Yeah, we'll put it in there. I don't need it on me. Okay, good deal. Let's go back to our Overseer and turn in the Gravitino Ball. Did you enjoy your adventure, friend? Your expedition to find our orb? I have waited for you faithfully. There is something about the way Merchant Agustin speaks, speaks that, for all their kind words, suggests a resentment saved only for the deepest of enemies. But they would not have come to work here if we were enemies. Of course not. We are friends. The Overseer asks for the Gravitino Ball so they can finish the Starship design technology. Technology design, pardon me. Gravitino Ball. As ever, I am so grateful for your assistance, friend. I get a conflict scanner uh, technology, but I need the Walker Brain for that. But there are two different ways to get those. Have you ever wondered what happens after death, between expiration and rebirth? Meditate upon annihilation. Harvest Mordite from the dead. It is the only way to escape. Since the Overseer arrived, I have had a recurring dream, a nightmare that feels like a memory. Flesh merged with metal, a world of glass that blinks. A planet with green skies and an obsidian moon, a dream where I see my grave. As I snap back to reality, there is a moment before I can shake the image, that wound on the world lingering before my eyes. The Overseer asked me to harvest Mordite, material found in the bodies of slain creatures. Except, The Overseer served me well. Perhaps their task will free my mind from these lingering nightmares. Weird. Weird dreams, if you think about it. It seems to be related. Yeah, it's almost like Light No Fire is even related to it now, but it sounds like the Void Mother. You know, place of glass. Let's grab some Mordite. See how much we need. Mordite, 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 Mordite. Right. Is it the other one? It's purple. Don't see it. Must be the other one. Oh, there you are. 81. How much do we need? Guess we'll find out. We need 19 more. Oi, all right. Need to kill some animals, but it's the only way to get some, unfortunately. Wait for the Mordite. Got eight. Okay, we need probably two more animals, I think. We'll do it. It's going to anger them. There we go. That should do it. Don't like killing animals like that, but that's why I got quiet. It bothers me. Even fake ones. I can see the change in you, friend. You have completed your task, and I have seen the world as you see it. I do not entirely understand what I have done for the Overseer, but they seem once again ready to reward me for my actions. Give them Mordite. Here. Take these schematics. May the things you build always remind you of those you killed to construct them. Weird. An exocraft terminal. Chromatic metal to hydrogen. And geology cannon. Okay, we don't need to build that. So, build an exocraft terminal, it says, which I can do right now. Uh, there it is. And where are we going to build you, my friend? We'll put him in front of the window. That'll be fine. 
There we go. Okay, built. Now what? Are we supposed to call them in? Technician required. So that should be the next task. It was just popping up. No, it isn't. All right, let's go to our log and find out what happened here. We're not going to install the geology cannon. No, I'll get rid of that. Exocraft technician. Hire an exocraft technician. From space stations, it says. Looks like there's one at our space station already. Okay, so we can go to the space station to get them. So yeah, this this is over an hour, I know, but it looks like we're coming really close to where we need to be. Off we go. And he's across the way. Okay, in the back, in the back room. Okay, good, good, good. Get our exocraft technician now. We'll be good to go. How much longer do we have to go, huh? I demand a place on your throne world, interloper. Except we'll grant you the glory of an exocraft and a Viking mech priest to administer its mass. Pray only that you have an exocraft terminal sufficient for my skills. Refusal? Refusal will result in my inevitable extermination. Be quick. A technician seeks work, claiming they will be able to build an upgrade and upgrade exocraft for my travels. Hire the technician. You are weak and unworthy of my skills, but I have no choice. I will flee to your vile world. I will I will become an interloper. Well, he seems happy to take the job. That's fantastic. Glad to have him aboard. You know what? It'll take me longer to go through the portal than it will to just land at my base. See, we would have just reached the portal by now. And we were already in the atmosphere coming in at the base, so... Probably about the same amount of time, I guess. There we go. Wow. While we're here... There we go. Get all that stuff out of my inventory, put it in the storage container. Okay. Where's our Exocraft technician? There he is. Ensign Hu. Ensign Hu is calm since I last saw them, though I still feel a sense of dread within their eyes, with the paranoia that has sustained them across the stars. Greet them. Interloper, I will do as I promise. Build a geobay from this schematic, and my Exocraft shall be yours, unworthy though you may be. Now excuse me, I must ensure this location is defensible should my people try to find me. The technician asked me to construct a Romer Geobay from which I will be able to access their exocraft. Accept. Gra, of course. The, this bargain greatly favors you until over my exocraft has seen much glory. So we're going to build a Romer Geobay. But not today. So we're going to go ahead and complete these missions. This is going to be the exocraft missions that we're going to complete now. And then we're going to complete out the rest of the base mission. So it looks like one more episode ought to do it. And then we'll be done. So let's go ahead and call this one done for today. I want to thank you all for watching. And please hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I thank you very much for being here. And we'll see you again in the next episode. Take care, everybody.